Today I want to talk about focus. Whatever we focus on in life is magnified and eventually becomes our motivation. Constantly listening to and focusing on mainstream media's negative news can easily cause fear to attack a person's mind and emotions. Fear is a great motivator. Hitler knew this very well when he prepared Germany for World War II through his propaganda. Such a fear easily begins to grow, clouding a person's mind, while eventually rendering them unable to calmly and cool-headedly analyze news, separating facts from fiction. For example, the recovery rate among those infected with the current coronavirus is higher than 98%. And yet news outlets and government agencies talk and act as though there are dead bodies in our malls and on sidewalks everywhere. According to health officials, children were never at risk of getting sick or transmitting the virus and suddenly we're told that they should all get vaccinated. And what does all of this have to do with idolatry? What really is idolatry? The dictionary tells us that it is special reverence for something or someone. By focusing on and fearing something or someone, we are obviously giving special attention to whatever it might be that we fear. Let me share a biblical example of a right focus leading to victory. Once there was a young man. He was always so focused on God that the joy God gave him into his heart caused him to sing and praising him all the time. And because of his total focus on the Lord, his greatness and his goodness, the Lord became bigger and bigger in his life. So much so that even huge problems he was facing could only amount to the size of a shrimp compared to his God. He knew in his heart that if only he would stay focused, always walking close to the Lord, no problem in the whole world would be able to overcome him. One day he was faced with the biggest challenge so far in his life, even threatening to kill him. But because of his focus and the size of his God, he had such confidence that the incredible challenge didn't seem much bigger than a little shrimp. He took out his sling, placed a smooth stone. This was an excerpt from the book Awakening the Sleeping Giant. Life without the right focus is bad. Saul and his army obviously feared Goliath above God. Fearing anything or anyone above God means in some way idolizing them and making them bigger and more powerful than God, which is a form of idolatry. There are different types of fear. God-given natural fear is a type of deep respect. Respecting the power of a grizzly is a good and healthy fear. Respecting the almighty power of God is indeed a very good and healthy fear. And fear that has no real basis often comes from the influence of an evil, deceptive, demonic spirit. When looking at the church in light of the health crisis, much like the rest of the world, many Christians sadly have surrendered to a spirit of fear and deception. It is time to refocus our attention back on God and His size. About 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ defeated the devil once and for all. It is time to wake up and give God the highest respect. Proverbs 9.10 The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Proverbs 29.25 Fear of man will prove to be a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is kept safe. Isaiah 41.10 Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will surely help you. I will uphold you with my right hand of righteousness. Hebrews 13.6 So we say with confidence, The Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? 
And lastly, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall lack nothing. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Amen.